aseptic non-touch technique is recommended for maintaining sterility and preventing cross-infection when managing clean, acute or surgical wounds. However, this can be more difficult to achieve in a non-clinical setting as there is less control over the environment where dressing changes are performed. Slight modifications to the environment or technique may be required while still remaining true to infection prevention procedures. Consideration should also be given to the type of wound being managed, such as a chronic wound which will already be colonised. To begin, hands should be cleaned thoroughly with liquid soap and water. Hand cleaning wipes and or alcohol gel can be used if the facilities and environment are not suitable. A suitable working surface from which to prepare your equipment should now be identified. This can be one of the more challenging aspects of performing a wound dressing change in a non-clinical setting. A table or bedside drawer free of clutter would be a suitable choice. Avoid placing equipment on the floor if at all possible due to the high risk of contamination. If there's no other available surface, a clean apron can be placed onto the floor so the dressing pack is not in direct contact. The setting should now be prepared, including decontamination of the working surface to be used. If the surface allows, clean it with a detergent wipe and allow to dry, and then disinfect with a 70% alcohol wipe. It's now time to assemble all your equipment, including your dressing pack and suitable dressings and any other items deemed necessary, such as sterile scissors and forceps. The use-by date of your dressing pack and other equipment should be checked before opening. Your dressing pack can now be opened onto the working surface and spread out using the corners only to prevent contamination of the main part of the sterile field with your hands. Position your sterile field as close to you as possible. You can now remove the apron from the dressing pack and put it on. Equipment should be removed from the packaging using a non-touch technique. Identify the waste bag first and then the hand inside the waste bag technique can be used to arrange the required items in an orderly manner on the sterile field. All of the dressing equipment should be considered as key parts and kept protected at all times. Once your equipment has been arranged, invert and place the waste bag in a convenient place so that it's easily accessible and soiled dressings and equipment are not taken across the sterile field when removed. It's now time to consider cleansing of the wound and if a large volume of tap water is to be used for cleansing immersion of the wound or limb, now is the time to line a clean, dry bucket with a clean plastic bag and fill. Position the bucket in a convenient position close to the patient. If a small area is to be cleaned locally, fill the tray in the dressing pack with either water or saline. Decontaminate hands with alcohol gel. Non-sterile gloves can now be applied to carefully remove the old dressing. Place the dressing towel underneath the wound or limb. Be aware that during this process a large amount of microorganisms are shed into the air.
Dispose of the soiled dressings into a clinical waste bag as per your local trust waste policy. The wound can now be cleansed as required. Once cleansing is complete, remove your used gloves. Following glove removal, it's considered best practice to wash hands with soap and water. Hand cleaning wipes and or alcohol gel can again be used if the facilities and environment are unsuitable. Now apply the sterile gloves from the dressing pack. The wound can now be redressed using the prepared dressings, avoiding touching key parts on your working field. When the wound dressing has been completed, remove your gloves and apron and dispose of all used equipment in accordance to your local trust waste policy. Clean down the working surface with a detergent wipe. And finally, clean your hands with liquid soap and water or hand cleaning wipes and or alcohol gel if more appropriate in view of the facilities and environment. A wound dressing suitable for a non-clinical setting has now been completed.